Hi, welcome to this podcast. I hope you enjoy it. This is produced by the University of Minnesota. And uh, my name is Alfonso Sinjago, and I am one of the graduate assistants working with the iPad Initiative. Um, one of the key things about app stores is that there's an app for everything. That's actually a trademark phrase from Apple. With over 400,000 apps, uh, 200 apps that are released a day, over 200, there's an app for pretty much anything you want to do. So as with many other aspects of life, it's important to have a way to search for the best apps. This video tries to get us some of that. Uh, these are some of the programs that I use for searching apps. I, uh, I found more than 40, believe it or not. Actually, since then, I probably found another 10. So uh, uh, apps to find apps are common and useful. Um, first thing first, when you turn on your iPad, remember to have it secure. Uh, it's really easy to use the mobile me system uh, protect your iPad with a password and be able to locate it if it's lost through GPS and send a message to lock it, erase everything on it. Um, that's very useful in the sense that, I mean, if somebody steals it, well, let's get it back and also uh, let's not lose our important data. Again, I'm showing you uh, all the apps that I use and uh, I primarily work with the first page. Again, there are 40 apps there uh, that I use to find other apps. The first page is some of my favorites. The main one, however, is the App Store. Why? Well, Apple has the genius function, feature function, etc. In feature function, for example, when you go to the feature function, you'll be able to see uh, some of the, the app of the week, for example, some of the new and newsworthy apps, and those change pretty much on a daily basis sometimes. Some of the staff favorites, and some lists, like that list that I'm clicking right there is apps for teachers. Uh, now that's a list that uh, it had classroom, uh, curriculum, and other types of apps that would be helpful for a teacher. And when I went in there, I found really high rated apps that I had no idea about before. And that's one of the benefits of uh, the App Store. If, um, same as with web pages, same as when you search Google, you can find apps that are similar to uh, what you like and find them for a cheap cost. The Dossieri app, for example, I, uh, is highly recommended. It's a very useful tool for a teacher and um, it's free and that's not uncommon for apps to be free I click, voila, you know, I have a free app and as easy as I download it, I can raise the double tap on the bottom will bring to the most recent app you use uh, I click on the last one I open and I click on the back button I go again to that list as app for teachers and let's see what else on that list that is interesting to me notice that some of them say that they are installed already I own those already and Apple knows that, they remember what you have purchased before. Uh, uh, some of those lists, like that one, Classroom Task, you can see, clicking on the top, I can see all, so the list could be expanded. So this is a summarized list of a greater list that Apple developed. Um, some of them are expensive, some of them, again, are free, and uh, some of them I bought very cheaply at a discounted price, and that's something that I hope that you are able to develop that skill the more you use your iPad to be able to uh, download apps um, at a low cost. I tend to download too many apps. I mean, I probably download 20, 30 apps a day, uh, but I test apps. Uh, however, I, I'm, I don't think that's what everybody should do, but I, what I do think is you have one app aggregator that will help, uh, or one or two, and to be able to search these search engines, you can find um, some apps that are useful for you. One of the features that the App Store has in itself embedded that helps you find apps is the genius uh, function and you can see some apps that recommend this change depending on your newest purchases and I made many of those purchases I'm close to buying the symmetry one of these days soon because I think it'll do great things for my pictures but again you can see the ratings you can see how many people have rated it and uh, one thing I don't show in this screen is that actually you can sort that list through category so I tend to go to productivity photos and uh, education apps um, and like as when you're dealing with advertising, well, um, it's tailor suited. So out of those 400,000 perhaps, I'll be able to see a couple thousand that are interesting to me. At the bottom of each page, when you go to the App Store, you'll find some recommendations of apps that are also maybe to your taste. Um, again, that's another great feature, is to be able to find other apps that are interesting to you, and, app, and Apple makes it as easy as possible. They're helping their developers, and even though there's a recent article, Apple actually has more developers and it's getting developers from Android. Uh, Apple's are now the head of innovation and they control the largest 
they are really the tablet market at the moment. Uh, that may change, but that's currently the case. Now you can sort by category. If you sort by category, you can uh, go right where you want to go. Uh, in the sense that you have a particular need you want to address, you can search at the top for keywords. But you know, what if uh, an app has a strange name that is not related to what it does? Well, you go by the category. And that college app is highly is, is well ranked. When I click, you can click current version has no rankings, old versions have no ratings, and you go, oh well, maybe this is not a good app. Maybe it is. It's new. Uh, one good thing about new apps, they uh, want to promote themselves, so the cost should probably lower. I installed it. Why? It doesn't really matter. Unlike a Windows operating system or uh, an older operating system, it doesn't really clutter as much. Um, it doesn't affect your performance the more apps you download. Just erase them when you don't want them. Uh, another app that I use to find apps a lot is App Shopper. Uh, why do I like App Shopper? Uh, various features. Once, uh, one of the best ones, it tells me, goes chronologically through the app uh, costs and it will show me how much the, that app cost in the past and by being able to look at that and other app by that developer I'll be able to not just get caught in an app that's uh, falsely sale on their, their own sale some people just put their apps on sale every week so one way to uh, prevent that is to well if you have app shopper you'll be able to tell if it's really a genuine sale Cambridge for example this app had not been in sale before uh, in, to, that, to that extent and it's a great app and an advanced dictionary and on the bottom I find a periodic table There's and there's many periodic tables elements I haven't bought it yet, it's like the $10 periodic table app uh, but that is highly recommended, but there are others that are free so again, uh, with 400,000 apps if you can't afford it, it's too expensive to you, there are alternatives and that's one of the greatest things about this market um, some of the productivity apps may be very useful to you Good Reader is probably the best right now but um, there's many others that are trying to uh, create an oligopoly, I guess, uh, 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 and uh, diversify the market a little bit. That bamboo paper, for example, is free for the first month it came out. Um, and developers, because they know that it's this competitive market with 400,000 apps, they if they, if they want to sell, they got to improve their apps. So uh, once you purchase, it's like almost you bought a stock in them, and, and uh, you, you'll keep getting updates. They might have an, 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 an ad, uh, they may add ads to the app, they may add packages additional that you can buy, but aside from that, um, I mean, probably you'll be you'll benefit from most updates they do. The next app I'll show is AppStar. They're both the same people that did App Advice. Uh, this I find this app is usually uh, sold for one dollar, two dollars, or free, depending on the time of the year. It goes up and down. These are some of the art apps that I was looking that they recommended. I uh, purchased a lot of them since. And um, why? Because I think that you can create great drawings through the uh, iPad. But uh, what this app does, App Start, is exactly it just tells you uh, some of the key features of the iPad and how to best take advantage of them. For example, there are those are the four uh, book readers that they recommend. Um, some of them use pop format, some of them Kindle allows you to highlight, and you can look at the highlights. Uh, on the internet that you made and Kindle's available everywhere it'll, it'll rank them and it'll compare them there for you so I mean that's just one expert one company's advice but that's what they do they rank apps so uh, I mean if, if you have no clue uh, go with ratings <laughs> go with advice look at one of the stores and see what they think, tell you uh, social network is increasing it's used for education it's, it's complicated we're trying to use it more but it's not that simple uh, sometimes but it, it could have uh, great effects on education too um, well there are many um, uh, the Facebook hasn't yet released an app for the iPad but it will probably soon but there's many um, uh, apps that use their API and that are pretty useful within the iPad uh, iMovie is great it came out finally for the iPad 2 it wasn't available for the first iPad um, and real directors pretty nice too um, and again there's different prices one that I use that is I don't know if it's there it's Splice. Splice why do I use it? well when I got it it was free and um, up, and then I bought the, the pay version actually for Adora later so uh, because it was on sale for a weekend but iMovie uh, of course, usually, I mean, even though you can trust third-party apps a lot within an iOS system, some of the best apps are not only because, I mean, they created a device, are the Apple apps. And with that, you know, you buy a keyboard to use Keynote, uh, 
perhaps you'll find that you don't want your laptop there anymore perhaps it does all you need in the sense that you use uh, a Dropbox and um, you take your notes and you're fine now here is a zoom uh, a little bit more in detail of iMovie um, now let's go to Apple Buys why? well Apple Buys is uh, again uh, one of the best news source this is not just about apps but every day out of those 20 uh, 200 apps that come out they'll probably talk about 30 of them and those 30 are probably the ones you care about uh, and they'll tell you what went free that day too you know what went free both in games and what went free in just apps in general uh, that camera sharp for example went free that week um, and that may just be a couple day sales so what they want is for people that are app addicts perhaps or high app users to get these apps for cheap and give them a high ranking and then after they get a high rating for them from a person that buys it for cheap then they up the price and somebody else goes wow people really like this app so they end up paying the, the cost for it and it goes up again on the list of all oh, this app very common making a lot of money uh, categories that app, the app store ranks apps buy um, and there's so many types of picture apps and so many types of uh, apps that deal with, with uh, movies and image editing and you know I used Photoshop before but Photoshop is more powerful than any of these programs uh, but together all these programs have more features why? because there's tons of them I probably have hundreds uh, I am sure I have over a hundred programs to take pictures and edit pictures with and some of the filters there I haven't seen before in other programs so it, it really it allows you to have that benefit and then and so one of the aspects that's growing actually social networking with pictures uh, I don't know if you're into it yet and uh, another aspect that's growing is you tagging with pictures so let's look at app hits um, I used to use this one uh, again I'm limiting myself to three recently but one of the things that this uh, app does that others don't do is that it'll, uh, it'll go back into three different periods what's so been uh, popular the last day, the last three days, the last seven days, last month so it, it'll rank them by, by time uh, what's uh, been a hit recently not just by drop price and by category but you'll see uh, the fluctuations within the market right so perhaps an app that Sonic Lighter by SMU for example it's always been a dollar but I guess the competition there's a lot of other simple lighters right now that went for free and eventually decided to give it for free if you want to check out its new apps for music like the, their Ocarina app or their T-Pain app they have great apps that distort voice and make beautiful music sound probably I didn't like their Sipo app too much to be honest but it was offered for free and it had high ratings and, and this allows you to be well um, let's look at these apps well I seen that this app been for sale before maybe it's for sale another time this is another app uh, Pandora's box is useful in the sense that uh, it'll tell you in the bottom you can see what's hot, uh, what went down, percentage, what's new, and uh, those classifications uh, are very useful sometimes in the sense that, um, I mean, again, what's new could be something that's pretty cheap because they're just trying to get uh, their notoriety up, you can classify by groups. Um, the reason I use more than one app aggregator and that perhaps the reason you want to use more than one app aggregator is that whether for, for because of the variety and diversity of apps that there are when we're talking about 400,000 there is no way that really it's hard for a single app to cover all that content so by having more than one app aggregator or one more than one app searcher uh, I'm able to hit more deals and uh, find more apps that are discounted or for a low price again uh, I, I recommend you're in a university this is an educational device what you should do primarily is uh, try to use this device in a constructive educational fashion so that's a year really easy there's so many vocab learning apps so many apps to uh, even even when we talk about games there's so many apps that try to deal with fast acting facts with math concepts and working on your math understanding I mean, those are the kind of you playing games. Play games that include physics laws, that include other uh, laws that are other other educational objectives. Uh, app Thicker, again, um, that's another great app. Uh, uh, 
the, that this one that I'm showing you right now uh, is another great app to find free apps. Um, this one I used a lot recently, hot hot apps or hot deals. I like the graph at the bottom. Uh, why? Well, and you can see it right there. What does it say? Uh, Father's Day sale. Uh, and you can see the fluctuations. It goes up and down, up and down. But where has it hit the lowest point? That's sometimes maybe one something you want to do. Think of where it has to hit the lowest point. Another thing you gotta see is are the, are the reviews getting better and better? Why? Because they keep getting better and better. Then, well, what may that may mean is that they could perhaps afford to raise their prices permanently. Uh, again, they're adding features and. The app store ranks you in two ways. They'll tell you the current rank, rank, uh, rating of an app and also uh, the all time rating. So, an all time rating could be three stars and the current rating could be five stars because they have improved their app. App Miner uh, has some very interesting features. Um, I used to use them more. I don't like the interface as much. Again, there's many of these apps that have a beautiful interface. Some don't have that of an attractive interface. So kind of find one that you like when you're searching for apps. Find one that uh, you think makes searching for apps an uh, interesting experience, a fun, uh, a fun game, like playing a Monopoly game. That's how I see searching for apps. Uh, Dex by Coolaris. Coolaris specializes in visualization of objects and in, in displaying products in an appealing way. So uh, their decks, their 50 decks, well they show the 50 top apps the same as you can see them in the App Store but I try to show them in a way to you that's uh, visually appealing and uh, they do that very well uh, Not my favorite because they show uh, apps that to me are basic I know most of those apps already but it's a good starter app if you want to look at a, a good way to find out some apps well I recommend probably that you should look for Cool Iris um, Aptex. Game winners. Games, most of the apps in the, in the App Store are games. Uh, game sell. Game is a um, billion dollar industry that actually in some years is comparable to the movie industry, increasingly doing better than the movie industry. But, and games, the gamification of education, games may be including learning more and more. And this app game winners may help you find some games like this word uh, word vocabulary type game well that's a great game for learning but uh, again I try to find games you learn something and if you think a game is no longer challenging for uh, it's just a hack and slash then maybe that's not the game that uh, is really you know both providing a relaxation and an, uh, an educational experience so I mean I try to find that balance I mean, um, we grew up in, in uh, people, I'm young, I'm 26, people that grow up today, I mean, they playing games is uh, not uncommon, uh, and playing Nintendo, but, um, you know, try to do it in a way, find things that are uh, interesting. So, these are some other ones, uh, again, you know, go back in the video and look at the title to them, and uh, perhaps you find, I like, I like this visual interface that I'm showing you right there. Uh, why did I like it? Well, it, it, it allows you to create visual art, in my opinion. Not just, you know, you're just you're playing, but it's also physics. And sometimes you go, wow, you know, I wish I could build this. And in the sense that, you know, there's so much uh, math concepts going into some of this. There's fractal apps, there is, uh, you know, apps that try to uh, simulate the texture of the universe. And um, it's uh, many things that you. Uh, maybe uh, surprised that it's difficult for a professor to incorporate a game into a module but sometimes when it's done it can be pretty helpful this app of obscure apps it tries to do something I, I, I pay a dollar for this I don't think I don't, I don't know if I recommend it I don't think so it has apps that are not that well known and that at one point in time this uh, developer so they were uh, you know they'd be fun to, to, to share and helpful I mean I paid for it, I used it a couple times, I downloaded it, I paid for that app. Uh, it can be useful, but uh, again, I don't think you should pay for an app searcher. 
I don't think uh, I think you can find good ones without paying. So if they had a system that you didn't have to pay, I think the Obscure app app would be better. Also, it's not visually appealing. You're you're based on text descriptions of apps, which to me it's it's limiting. Now, why is English? So the British monarchy app I mean, looked interesting to me in the sense of, well, let's see how the, the who who marry who and what. You know, well, maybe. Uh, some is a distant relative of my distant relative of my wife. I don't think so, but uh, uh, you never know who's related to who. Uh, anyhow, so this other app, uh, App Kings, they have an interesting interface, and they also have something that other apps I, don't, I haven't seen have. Other uh, fine app apps have, and one of those is they have contests. They, they'll have like contests like I'll play uh, this song in S new Magic Piano, and by doing that. Um, you you'll uh, qualify for uh, Amazon gift card. Free app magic. They offer three free apps today. Down, for example, color. Uh, take the color out of a part of your picture, and then we'll go. Uh, at first, that graphic was slower. The coins would fall a lot slower. But then, after you reach, I think, the ten dollar mark, they start falling faster. So that color plus. Take color away from parts of your picture, kind of do a changeless list effect, you know, accentuate the green, accentuate the red, accentuate a part of the picture you think should be, uh, it's, it, I mean, looks better and would highlight that part. You can blur the rest or you can take the color of the rest or maybe both. So, uh, again, they unlock three apps every day that may be interesting to you. So, uh, if you like the surprise, the magic hat. Well, go ahead and uh, like app free app magic and join the the magical ride, I guess, and uh, get three free apps every day. I have saved with this app by now. I think ninety dollars since this video was made. So why not? Right? It's free. Uh, this app, the interface is very iPhone looking. But again, remember most of the iPhone apps work in the iPad. Um, that's uh, most of them. Now the ones that are GPS enabled, if, unless your iPad GPS enabled it won't work. The ones that need an autofocus camera also won't work. But mostly we're talking about 400,000 apps that will work on the iPad. Uh, there's some that won't, particularly on some iPads, but some will. Now one aspect there that I found is I, I had seen that company put other apps for free in this uh, in this tracker, in this free app tracker, but I hadn't seen that one before. And then I came to it because I also searched in this program. And it's a great app, but I've made a missed that sale, that vocabulary builder, without um, that other app aggregator. But then it gave me a hint. You know, why don't we search other apps that are being made by a developer? Hey, this year vocabulary, it looks great, but it has a price still, it's not free. So you keep doing that, sometimes you go to the developer page and you can see all the apps that that developer a lot of times they decide I'm bringing a new app to the market I'm gonna put 50% of my apps for free and the this app searcher apps will only report on the best ones of them but perhaps if you were like one enough to click on that developers page then perhaps the other ones that the developer has are also to your interest so uh, it's a lot of video apps like that that um, Distort video to make interesting effects. So that that's another genre of apps that you may uh, like. See, uh, troubleshoot, free for only 24 hours. I downloaded it, never used it. Uh, don't download too much, you know. Go one there with a goal. But uh, sometimes, you know, um, you will find um, apps that will help you for your formal and informal education. But use it, you know, and it's also it can be an access device to the internet for your whole family, not just to you. A free app genie, the first 30 days or 60 days that I had it, I think it was 30, they had no ads. They now have ads on me because I used to pass their uh, period. What I like about them is that they say that they are downloading the, the newest apps, you know, they're, they're, they're making the list as soon as you click on it. And uh, that Magic Puzzles, they were all $3, but I got them all for free, and that's a great puzzle app, you know, and, and a lot of those things, they exercise your mind uh, they are uh, you know, they're, they're helpful they're not I mean remember your responsibilities first but uh, also we you gotta think of a creative quotient we gotta think about being uh, people that are uh, 
creators of knowledge and are creative and uh, in that sense I mean I think uh, be because of his visual interface and uh, the way uh, the diversity that it has I think the iPad can stimulate your creativity a lot more than other devices because it's not that flat uh, so there are many other interesting apps that you can find uh, these are just 20 that I talked about App Dreams uh, it's another one that I found recently App Sport by Yahoo it's another great app Discover has a beautiful interface again I didn't find much that I hadn't known before but for somebody that's starting Discover apps may be great I hope you really enjoyed this video I enjoyed making it and if you have any questions contact ATS or uh, give me a call too now if you wanted to stay with the rest of the video I'll show you some of the other ones I use uh, Daily App Dream That's a great app, similar to App Magic. Um, again, you can get the Flying Piggy for free. Uh, usually cost three dollars. One thing to be careful though, it's uh, Apple will send you a receipt a few days after you buy something. They do that purposely. I read that in a um, Wire magazine. The purpose for this is that uh, you don't feel the guilt of purchasing. Also, when things cost a dollar, you don't feel the guilt either. So just because everything is divided into a dollar, don't think that those dollars don't add up. You can spend hundreds of dollars, dollar by dollar, because if you click 20 times in a day, you spend $20 in that day. So click 5 times in a day, that's $5 in one day. Over 10 days, that's $50. That means in a month, we're talking about $150. So be very careful uh, what you're buying. This app used to be like as a Groupon for apps. It was cool, because you had to, uh, you know, you had to app popular you had to make sure you voted and uh, decided which app you wanted to be free but it stopped working so uh, that group on idea didn't work maybe somebody picks it up next time magic piano my wife loves this app again uh, if you have an iPad and especially you have little kids at home it's a great learning tool for little kids uh, you know depending on how little they are perhaps you're worried that they'll break it or something but uh, I mean perhaps to your guidance we are trying to help you use the iPad better. Well, you can help your kid uh, or uh, uh, little kids at home um, or your cousins or whoever is visiting to uh, learn a little more about technology and become more familiar with it. Um, you can do that. And um, you can explain some of this to them. Uh, I haven't yet, one of my next projects is to uh, get the iPad just only for music editing, music DJ, and uh, mixing tracks and making new sounds. I want to do that because I think the iPad can also do that. Why? The iPad started as a music device and it has great potential for making music and uh, that's something that needs to not be, uh, needs to be further explored and, and, and used as much as we can uh, within the formal learning environment and outside the formal learning environment too. Um, hair paint, another uh, visually uh, people like uh, Max have always been used primarily by people that uh, work with graphic design. The iOS is not any different. It's great for graphic design. Uh, that app pusher, I like it because one thing that I noticed with app pusher and uh, app sap, which I don't think I show app sap here. I love app sap by the way. If you can download a a a p p c p c a p p. I love that app, but app pushers also like that in the sense that uh, they'll tell me apps that are going free in China, and apps app tells me when they go free in England, and because they tell me these things uh, in a different time zone, I know these apps are going to go free before I get them to be free in America, so it, it allows you to uh, kind of just be, well, I know this is coming free and this is interesting, so it gives you another six hours or so when we're talking about England that uh, you won't miss the little window of time that you'll have to download something for free. So I don't know Chinese, uh, it'd be great to learn, I haven't been able to travel there, I, I hope to do something like that in the future, but, uh, and I hope it's Chinese, you know, uh, but uh, I think it's a great app, I think it's either probably Chinese or Japanese, I, I, it looks, sorry about Chinese, sorry if it isn't. Uh, so this app fire, what I like about it is, little icons moving across the screen I mean it's trying to be visually appealing a night fast nap free a lot of free apps have 
iAds, so advertising from iOS, and they also have limited functionalities that are so uh, upgraded to an in-app payment. Remember, a lot of these are light apps. Sometimes read on the description whether they are light apps or whether it's just ad uh, contain ads because it's very different. I mean, if you're talking about uh, Cartoonastic, for example, or Doodle Cam, are pretty much the full app, but they'll have a couple of uh, ads on it, and the ads make it be free. So maybe that's something you will, are willing to tolerate, but you are not comfortable with a limited app. So uh, this one's the same as AppFire, it's just a different version. Appetizer. Well, uh, this one is good if you specify to the app over time what are the apps you have. That's the same with Apps App. Um, the more you show your apps to an app and uh, tell, say the ones you want, and also tell them the ones you have, the better they'll be able to tell you what you um, what you like. The better they'll be able to uh, tailor their advertising. App browser. What I like about this one is that it'll tell me what's the top app all over the world, and I find that great in the sense that uh, you know it's uh, some. I'm Hispanic, so I'm from Venezuela. So being able to know what's the big hit in Latin America, like such as Copa America, for example, that app I'm clicking there, that's a Spanish app. That app's not tailored for an American audience, and um, I'm able to find what great apps in a different place may be coming out. So that's something that I appreciate. And that I appreciate from my browser. <laughs> browser. Um, so that I muscle. I bought that one two dollars. I bought it the iPhone version. Why? Because I have an iPod Touch, so I get to see it in both places. So I'm losing some graphics interface sense, but since it's a universal app, I'll be able to look at it in both places. This other app, I just see Geometry 2D. There's many math apps. Many, many math apps. A lot of computer science runs on math. I mean, it's uh, based on algorithms, etc., and programming codes. So, people that develop apps they tend to like math. And uh, it's no surprise then that there's a lot of math uh, games and math and learning uh, tools. And, uh, because of the centralized nature of the app market, you are able to find those apps. Here are other uh, apps that you can find through this other app, Worthwhile, or Worthwhile has high rankings and it will work with Twitter feeds, so it has free and on sale uh, categories, again, other apps that are just temporarily on sale. Army of Darkness Defense, I haven't seen that free since. Um, Happy Days. It's an interesting layout. I think it's, to me it's visually appealing. I found some good apps there, but again I'm right now limiting myself to three. So this is uh, not uh, as high up in the list. But Mat to go HD, it's not a bad app. And it's a learning app. You can again use the sort list, look at books, look at education apps, etc. Sort by country, by price. Something that I wish they did but they haven't done so much so far is allowed a um, person to search apps by a particular price. So now this one uh, in this app is just click and it's just randomly shake and tell you about an app. Discover apps. They have Discover Music. This one's to find apps. Um, what I want you to see is the interface really. I think uh, the interface most of what's appealing about this video. And um, that little icons come and you have a little web and you have it's almost like a pearl tree, right? Uh, if you have seen the pearl tree website. And uh, well you find some and you're like, well I like that one, is there anything like that? And you click on it, it has some suggestions at the bottom. But uh, it's uh, it's limited in the sense it's brand new. So they're asking people that use it to give recommendations. And it's also I think one or two dollars to buy this app. I think it's a dollar. But um, again, this is another interesting app you can have. Um, but for example, you 
uh, want to see ebooks. Inkling has great uh, mixed media, but it's not usually mentioned. Inkling includes great uh, audio and video within their books. Um, Goodreader is a great app, but are there other apps like Goodreader? Well, uh, this Discover app may help you find them. Free report. Uh, they'll send you push notifications that, believe it or not, I mean, sometimes those little push notifications are what lets you look because you have so many things to do and if something doesn't come up, perhaps you won't look at it. So uh, I appreciate this app in the sense that it reminds me. But again, it's really an iOS, iPhone or iPod Touch app, so the screen doesn't look as... Uh, it, it wasn't made for uh, an iPad display. Um, but you find great apps through it too. AppSpy, well, it's in German and it's pretty much in many ways more like app advice um, but they include news and reports and uh, feed so uh, it's more like app advice but if you know German and you want to search for apps it may be uh, one that's to your liking uh, so we'll go to AppSpot AppSpot's the one that's developed by Yahoo and uh, this app um, provides you almost a random selection but you know they, they uh, just have topics for you I don't know if these are based on what you own I don't think they are I uh, I think it's made so that you like the display I mean I use Yahoo for everything I, I love my Yahoo email account I kept it even though most people have gone to Google or other places but I haven't used this app much because I don't see I don't see that it lets me get to the free ones quickly or the discounted ones quickly. I think it just tells me about great apps. So uh it's okay then you know you look at the app there and then you put a tracker on it in apps app and you wait for the price to go down. So uh apps app is an app that I may do a particular video on because I think it's really that much of a detailed uh, app to find apps and it's definitely perhaps worth uh people investing a, a, a few minutes on to try to learn better. Top charts uh, includes the short description of the app along with a cost and category and then you can classify by country. Let's see what's uh, hot where I come from, Venezuela. So 